My name is Cheryl Soche and I am the owner of Mountain View Low Vision Services and this is my office. Basically, I help people with vision loss to become more than what they cannot see by connecting them with appropriate providers, resources, services, and technology. There are visually impaired people or VIPs all around us. My story with Mountain View Low Vision Services is not really my story, but a collection of stories of the VIPs that I have met along the way, and I'd like to introduce you to a few of them now. My name is Quinn Howard, and I'm a Mountain View VIP. I have an eye condition that's called retinitis pigmentosa. As a field supervisor, my responsibility is to work closely with the great assistive technology specialists such as Cheryl to help us make sure we are up to date as supervisors and vocational rehabilitation counselors. My name is Elizabeth Baker. I'm a Mountain View VIP. I have progressive vision loss from a disease called Stargardt disease. I use a lot of different adaptations to complete my job as a physical therapist, compete as a Paralympian, and take care of two very busy teenagers. Cheryl has been invaluable to me, connecting me to so many resources, agencies, providers, and technologies to help me live my very best life. Thank you, Cheryl. Hi, my name is Dr. Jill Shelton, and I am a Mountain View VIP. I'm a professor. I run a research laboratory. I'm the director of our graduate program in psychological science. So technology is essential for me to do my job. The problem with the assistive technology world is there are so many devices coming out. Um, they're very expensive. It's hard to get access to the technology and, and evaluate what's gonna be best for an individual. I'm having to navigate this landscape of what technology do I use? How do I continue to do the job that I was trained to do when I'm losing my vision uh, more and more over time. Hello, my name is Chris Ingram and I'm a Mountain View VIP. I consult with a company called 3-2 Market. 3-2 uh, Market and myself had developed a self-pay kiosk that can be used by a uh, blind individually independently without the help of a sighted individual. We hope to place kiosks in environments like senior living communities to enable more people with vision loss to have access to products that can help them flourish and remain independent. So now that you know a little bit more about what I do through the voices of Mountain View VIPs, let me tell you what I plan to do with the Idea Leap grant funds. I have a VIP plan. Number one, I'd like to help veterans. I'd like to help veterans have greater access to technology and training that can help them remain independent and have a high quality of life. The process for a small business to become a VA vendor is difficult and uh, requires substantial investment. These funds can help me get there. Number two, and I'm thinking outside of the box here, you met Chris Ingram. Chris uh, uses accessibility features with these kiosks so that visually impaired people can independently purchase products. Chris and I'd like to do a pilot project to use this type of technology for people with vision impairments to have greater access to niche products that they use every day. Number three, you heard Dr. Shelton talk about how difficult it is to navigate the ever-changing landscape of assistive technology and access to services and training. I would like to build on a collaborative partnership with occupational therapist Anna Anderson. Anna and I have started to create a video learning library so that more occupational therapists and providers can be well equipped to provide much needed in-home therapy services for people with vision loss. These funds can help us take that to the next level. So it's important for people like me to have advocates in the community. And that person for me is Cheryl Saucier. And she has helped me tremendously over the last couple of years, um, get access to new technology and, and help me to continue doing what I'm doing. So if Mountain View Low Vision Services wins the Idea Leap grant competition, I don't win alone. Think of it like this. When Elizabeth Baker competes in triathlons with her guy, Jillian, when they cross the finish line, both Elizabeth and Jillian win. If I win this competition, I cross the finish line with the community of VIPs.